Hello friends, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to learn how we can find the median of two sorted arrays of same size. Problem statement, there are two sorted arrays A and B of size N each. Write an algorithm to find the median of the array obtained after merging the above two arrays, that is array of length 2N. Since there are 2N elements, medium will be average of the elements at index n-1 and n in the array obtained after merging array 1 and array 2. For example, there are two input arrays, array 1 equal 1, 12, 15, 26, 38, array 2 equal 2, 13, 17, 30, 45. After merging these two sorted arrays, we will have 1, 2, 12, 13, 15, 17, 26, 30, 38, 45. Medium would be 15 plus 17 by 2, which is 16. Method 1. We simply count while merging. Use merge procedure of merge sort. Keep track of count while comparing elements of two arrays. If count becomes n, we have reached the median. Take the average of the elements at indexes n-1 and n in the merged array. For example, we apply the procedure of merging two arrays until count becomes n which is 5 here. And then we simply take the average of middle two elements. But the complexity of this method would be big O of n. Second method is by using divide and conquer technique with log n time complexity. Note both the arrays should be of same size n. We take the base case when n equal 2. Array 1 b a1 a2 and array 2 b b1 b2 we know after merging these arrays the first element will be minimum of a1 comma b1 and the last element will be maximum of a2 and b2 between the first and the last element remaining two will be there which will be maximum of a1 comma b1 and minimum of a2 comma b2 they both can be in any order but the median will be the sum of these two elements divided by 2 therefore order does not matter so I have mentioned them in brackets which means they can be in any order when n is greater than 2 let us take n equal 5 Case 1, when medians of two arrays are same, that is, m1 equal m2. After merging all the elements, less than m1 and m2 will come before m1 and m2. They can be in any order, but total n minus 1 elements will be there. And similarly, after m1 and m2, n minus 1 elements will be there in any order. Therefore, median will be m1 plus m2 divided by 2, which is m1 equal m2. Case 2, when m1 is less than m2. So, in the merged array, before m1, definitely a1 and a2 will be there. B1 and B2 can also be there. So, maximum of 4 elements will be there before M1. That is, maximum of N minus 1 elements. And after M1, B1 and B2, A4, A5 can also be there. But not B4 and B5 as they are greater than M2. After M2, b4 b5 a4 a5 can be there again this set can have maximum of four elements we want 
m array of n minus 1 and m array of n. So we can cancel out the elements before m1 and after m2. So we can change the start index of array 1 to index of m1 and we can change the last index of array 2 to index m2. When m2 is less than m1, so in the merged array, before m2, definitely b1 and b2 will be there. a1 and a2 can also be there, so maximum of 4 elements will be there before m2. After m2, a1, a2, b4, b5 can be there, but not a4 and a2 a5 as they are greater than m1 after m1 a4 a5 b4 b5 can be there again this set can have maximum of four elements we want m array of n minus 1 and m array of n so we can cancel out the elements after m1 and before m2 so we can change the start index of array 2 to index of m2 and we can change the last index of array 1 to index of m1. Then we recursively call the get median method until n becomes 2 for which we have discussed the median already. Example given n equal 5 array 1 and array 2. Since m1 is less than m2, we take array 1 from 15 to 38 and from array 2 we take from start to m3 that is 2, 3, 17. Again, in the new arrays, m1 is greater than m2 so we take 15, 26 and 13, 17. Median equal maximum of 15, 13 plus minimum of 26, 17 which is 15 plus 17 divided by 2, 16. Now let's look at the code. Get median method takes three arguments array 1, array 2 and size of arrays that is n. If n is negative we return minus 1. As it is invalid, if n equals 1, we return the average of the first elements. As discussed before, if n equals 2, we return maximum of array 1, 0, comma, array 2, 0, plus minimum of array 1, 1, array 2, 1, divided by 2. If n is greater than 2, we first get median m1 and m2. If m1 equals m2, we return either m1 or m2. If m1 is less than m2, then if n is even, we return get median array 1 plus n by 2 minus 1 comma array 2 comma n minus n by 2 plus 1. Else we return get median array 1 plus n by 2 array 2 n minus n by 2. Similarly, when m1 is greater than m2, we return the other halves. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like this. Please leave us your likes and comments.